Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So recently there's been a lot of news coming out about the Tesla full self-driving beta and it seems like I'm going to be able to notify Tesla I want to download the beta within the next week or two. And there's been a lot of speculation about this tweet from Elon Musk and while I'm pretty skeptical I'll be able to access the beta with the push of a button, it seems like the beta pool is set to rapidly expand in the coming weeks. So with all of that news, I thought it would be appropriate today to once again take a look at Autopilot's current performance. And what I've found over the past few weeks is that 90% of the time the car performs very well and the other 10% you might find yourself in a pretty dangerous situation. So as usual in today's video, I'm not going to cut out any footage, but I will speed through the less eventful portions of the drive. If you end up enjoying today's video, be sure to hit the like button and also get subscribed if you want to see more full self-driving videos. I do plan on posting FSD beta videos as soon as I download it and plan to test it extensively down in Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh has some of the narrowest and steepest roads in the country in the south side slopes, and I'm looking forward to putting full self-driving through its paces there. So jumping right into today's drive, you can see autopilot is turned on because each side of the lane on the screen is blue and you can also see the blue steering wheel. And as we approach this first turn, it's fairly sharp to the left here and the car actually starts to move towards the oncoming traffic. So you see I grab the wheel and push it to the right a little bit, which automatically disengages autopilot. So right off the bat, this is one of our 10% moments. It was hard for me to tell what exactly the car was trying to do. So I instinctively pulled the steering wheel to the right to move the car away from the oncoming traffic. And the drive today does offer a good mix of both back roads, in-town driving, and then highway driving. You'll see the car is recognizing speed limit signs and displaying them on the center screen as well. And over the last several updates, I haven't had any issues with the car not being able to recognize a speed limit sign and then display the correct speed on the screen. Now as we approach the traffic light, you'll see the warning pop up well ahead of time on the screen here. It does recognize that the traffic light turned from yellow and then to red and brings us to a nice stop displaying an accurate stop line on the roadway. This is another moment that the beta would be able to handle on its own, but in this case, once the traffic light does turn green, I do have to let the car know that it's safe to proceed. So that's where you'll see me hit down on the driver's stock, just letting the car know that it's safe to move forward at this point. Another thing that I've noticed as well is that when leaving traffic lights, the car has a very nice, moderately aggressive acceleration. In past updates, leaving the traffic light or stop sign, the car would proceed very slowly, but in this case, it does accelerate nicely up to speed. So this is an intersection that I've had issues with in the past and it's relatively wide and the car has a hard time seeing the lane lines on the opposite side of the road. So in today's case, because I do have two leading cars, I won't have to interact with the car at all once the light turns green. As soon as my car recognizes those other vehicles entering the intersection, the stop line will change from red to green and the car will proceed on its own. However, you can see that as we get about halfway through the intersection, the red takeover sign is going to come up on the left side of the screen, meaning autopilot is not able to proceed because it has lost sight of the lane lines and I'm going to have to take over. And this intersection is another good example of when there's a leading car. I don't have to interact while using autopilot. It proceeds through the intersection without any issues. So as we approach the highway, I am going to put a destination into the GPS using voice control. And this is only to make sure that navigate on autopilot is used as we approach the highway. So this is just to ensure that the car is going to remain in control as we're on the on-ramp. So once again, because I don't have the beta, 
the car is not going to be able to make this turn here at the traffic light so i'll make the turn and then as soon as it's available i'll reactivate autopilot and at this point navigate on autopilot will take over and you'll see that the two lane lines on the side of the car will become one meaning navigate on autopilot is in effect now as we're on the ramp you will see me adjust the speed there using the scroll wheel on the right side of the steering wheel and i talked about this a little bit in my full self-driving video where i was really evaluating whether or not FSD is currently worth the $10,000 price point. But I mentioned that the car's entrance and exit from the highway speeds are oftentimes inappropriate. So you can see that we were going pretty slow on the ramp. The speed was set to about 45 miles per hour when realistically we needed to be ramping up to 65 or 70 miles per hour. So this is just another case again of where I as the driver have to make some adjustments in order to bring the car up to speed. So I'll go ahead and turn autopilot back on at this point. Again, it's gonna nicely recognize the traffic light is right up ahead and the stopped cars is gonna bring us nicely to a stop here. And then once the traffic light turns green and the leading car proceeds into the intersection, my car will recognize this and proceed as well. So again, another good example of where I don't have to interact with the car whatsoever when the light turns green. Now at this point I do indicate that the car should proceed through the intersection, but it recognizes that the light has turned yellow, and in general the car is going to drive pretty conservatively, so it decides not to proceed through the intersection and come to a complete stop here. So with these types of current conditions, I very rarely have any issues with autopilot. And with clear lane markings and no inclement weather, the car does a really good job of handling basically any type of road situation. And it's only when you throw in sharp curves and other weird road scenarios where there might be construction or if the lines are very hard for the car to read where you're going to start to have issues with the car being in the appropriate lane and lane position. And overall, I've always been very impressed with how Autopilot performs. I've also been very critical of it in the past because there are some edge case situations that I've talked about in past videos where the car does put you in relatively dangerous situations. And you can see even at the beginning of today's drive that when the car was making that sharp turn, I really couldn't tell if it was gonna swerve into the oncoming lane where there was oncoming traffic. So I instinctively pulled the steering wheel to the right to avoid that kind of situation. And in the past with sharp curves, I've had similar issues where it's hard to tell if the car is going to make a decision or it's making the decision so late that it's putting me in a dangerous situation. So as of right now I'd still maintain that full self-driving is not worth the $10,000 price point point. and if you want to hear a little bit more behind my reasoning for that and some further explanation check out the video that I'll link above where I talk more in depth about what is actually included with full self-driving and where the price versus value sort of breaks down. But that is going to bring us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button and also let me know what you think of the new format with the screen blown up in the center here. But that will do it for today. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch today and I'll see you in the next one.